hi guys so it is currently not even nine o'clock uh it's super overcast today i just showered and got ready for the day so my hair is still a little wet but i've already finished my first book so welcome to my 24-hour reading vlog i am spending the day reading and i'm really excited it is saturday but my sister worked last night she works tonight so she is sleeping all day until like 3 30 and then she'll leave again at 6 so i decided to read all day and i finished the silent waters if you guys saw on some of my clips that i showed already i did wake up go for a run i walked my dogs and then i listened while i was getting ready i normally watch youtube while i get ready but i only had like 30 minutes left of the audiobook so i decided well it was like an hour left and I listened to three times speed so there's really 20 minutes left so as by the time I was done and then I sat in here for like five more minutes to finish so I finished this I had about like a little less than half of the book but because I listened to it for an hour and a half this morning that's about four and a half hours um that's a, about half of the book a little less so I finished it all five stars oh my goodness this book so the theme of today's reading vlog is 24 hour reading my favorite authors and I'm obsessed with Brittany C. Cherry and I got her audio because it was part of the buy two for one credit sale and I got a Macaulay Smelter and then her and I'm interviewing her I was supposed to interview her this past Wednesday but something came up so I'm interviewing her next Thursday and I love her so much her books are so emotional I know Avery from Ava's romance books Ava's romance books um she loves this okay I always get confused because it's Ava's romance books Victoria's romance reads so I get confused which one's which but I know that Avery absolutely loves this one one of her TikToks went viral about this book I thought that he was the one that was mute but it's actually the heroine she goes through something very very traumatic when she's like 10 and she stops talking and she will not leave her house she does not leave her house for almost 20 years so it's super emotional it really puts her entire family through a lot of trauma as well and she has been in love with Brooke since she was a little kid and Brooke stays by her side through a lot of it but I love a romance that spans a long time like put these couples through the ringer they have to go through like 20 years before they can have their happily ever after I love it it is my candy and this one was fabulous five stars very emotional and it's interesting because there's characters who do such heartbreaking things and awful things but they're doing it as a reaction to their trauma and they really need to reflect on it and grow from it and I loved how Maggie our heroine was so forgiving because she knew herself what it's like going through that trauma and she forgave him like her sister did something absolutely horrible to her but she knew what she was going through and they they're still best friends and her mother as well and it's just heartbreaking and Brooks is so swoony I absolutely love his character this is a rock star romance but it was isn't like two rock star I, I read her other one um what was it called it's the one that's gray with yellow font I don't remember what that one is called southern it's not southern terms I don't remember but it's one where it's like a small town romance and then it he's like goes off to be like a famous rock star and this one's like kind of like that but not and I do get like the whole small town feel from this especially when he hides out at like a cabin at one point but he uh, goes off and like is a rock star and I really loved their moments together and how they like communicate through books and how they write little notes to each other and it's just so cute. I loved everything about this book. It's super emotional and I literally flew through this. I started it yesterday and I could not stop reading and I was so excited. It was raining a little bit this morning and I was like, I'm not running on the treadmill because when I run on the treadmill, I read my iPad and listen to music because if I'm on the treadmill, I have to like focus my eyes on something or else I cannot stand running and it feels like I'm just running forever. Outside though, since I'm like moving, I listen to my audiobooks. So I was like, I need to run outside and listen to this audiobook and then walk my dog so it was raining a little bit on the start of my run but totally worth it because this is so good and like the cover the meaning of the cover in the title makes me want to cry I did not cry like actually reading this book but it made me want to cry and I'm I'm obsessed with Bernice Cherry. I didn't love book one in the series, but now book four is like one of my favorite books of all time. This is amazing. Definitely up there. One of my favorites. So emotional, but so good. Oh my God. So good. I love this and I love their connection with all the other bandmates. Like I said, I loved her connection with her sister and her parents and her dad. So good. I'm so happy I finished this. I'm already like rocking this reading vlog. I've already finished a book. So plans are to read my favorite authors. I am wearing my new romantic reader shirt I got at a polycon that Lacey, Tori, and I got as matching shirts. I love it. It's really hot right now in Ohio, so I had to wear a t-shirt. I couldn't wear a sweatshirt, but plans today. I'm gonna read My Best Friend Sister by Kiwi Tyler. I have to read Stone Princess by Debbie.
Ebony Perry. So I'm probably going to work on Stone Princess first. And once I'm done with that, I will move on to QB Tyler's. And then I really want to read What Hassan Wants by Daniel Allen, one of my absolute favorite authors. This is really short. Right now you can only read it as a paperback from her website. So I did order this and it came in. And then if I finish those three... I want to read Garnet Flats by Devney Perry. I know I'm going to be reading two Devney Perry books for this vlog, but this is one I definitely want to read next. I was sent this from the author. So thank you so much, Devney Perry, for sending this my way. I need to catch up on the series. And then I do need to figure out an audiobook I want to listen to because I do have a little bit of sewing to do. And I planned on reading Silent Waters, but I just, I couldn't put it down. So I had to finish that. But I don't know if I want to start Tilly Cole's um, It Ain't Me Babe because... I read that like four years ago and I loved it, but I don't remember anything about it. I don't know if, what else? I don't know what I have on here that I would feel like reading. Um, oh, I do have an Amy Harmon, The Song of David, but I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. I don't know, unless, because I just like feel like I haven't read a good dark romance in a while. Sorry, I am covered in mosquito bites and it's making me annoyed. So when I go out every morning, I feed my dogs and then let them go outside and then I go outside with them to pick up any of their potty because little gross but Darcy likes to eat some of it she's one of those dogs we've tried everything that we can and the only thing that really works because I felt bad we got something from the vet to put in Lily's food to make Darcy not want to eat it but then you could tell Lily it was like a powder you had to put on her food she like was not having it so I felt bad that she had to suffer because Darcy's annoying so we just go outside with them and pick it up as soon as they're done going so that there's none in the yard for Darcy to eat so when I do that in the mornings I end up getting a bunch of bug bites when I run I get bug bites when I walk them I get bug bites and I'm mosquitoes love me and I feel like they only really started in August before that we weren't having that many bugs but if you see me like itching myself I got a new one on my elbow too which is really bothering me I got that on our walk today but I think yeah I think I'm gonna go with it ain't me bae though it's 12 hour audio I think that's really the only thing that I have on here that I would want to read well I do have it's due at the library in three days maybe I'll read that so I have Darius by GR Ward I really want to read that one and it's do in three days but do I have to I don't think I have to read it in order okay it says it's Black Dagger Brother 0.5 I think I can read it without being caught up on the series so I might end up listening to that one instead it's only seven hour audio so I feel like that's gonna be fine 657 okay so that'll be my audiobook for today I do want to sell a little bit for my Etsy shop but so far one five star read down and then I have lots of other things to read but I will start on my Kindle first and then get through these and read some J.R. Ward as well. So I'm going to have fun reading some of my favorite authors today. And I will chat with you throughout the day. I don't know how loud I'll be downstairs. I'll probably update you a lot up here because my sister's sleeping. I don't want to wake her up. But yeah, that's really all the plans I have. So I'm going to go and get reading. It is noon, a little afternoon. I did want to show off my new Squishmallow. Squishmallow? I don't know how to say those. This is my first one. Sigrid from Books and Beauty got him for me for my birthday and I love her for it so much. He's so cute. He stays on my bed next to me during all my live shows. I love him but uh, it's a little afternoon. I think I already said that and I'm 60% into this book, Stone Princess and it's really boring I'm really annoyed because this whole series it's been really good so far I really like the romances but this one nothing's been happening they literally just sit around and talk to each other we rehash a lot of what's already been happening in the other books and I'm like we already know this and it's more frustrating because like we're reading them back to back so like I'm freshly reading books one and two and now this is book three and I'm like I don't need you to explain the whole plot of the movie and see how closely it follows what actually happened because we just saw what actually happened and I'm so bored I was nodding off a little bit that's why it's taking me so long to read this but I'm hoping to just like just speed read through this because I'm not super in love with it California is calling me 
anyways it's just like not fun i don't know i'm really annoyed because i was excited for this but then he is also famous but we're not getting any of like the movie he just like oh i just filmed all day and now i'm here and so it's like we don't get any action they tell us what they did and then they sit and talk and i want more to the plot than just them sitting around talking to each other they do really like each other it's definitely steamy i do like their chemistry and how much they've fallen for each other and how she was trying to be resistant i do like the conflict with her ex who's in a rival motorcycle gang but like even then like one of her friends beat him up it happened off page like everything happens off page and they sit and just talk to each other and it's just so boring so i really want to just fly through this and finish it i would have dnf'd it by now but it's for my read along and well like i would have put it down and picked something else up and not continue reading this for this reading vlog but i have to finish it by tuesday and i have to finish book four by tuesday so it's saturday today i really want to finish it and i am doing some reading sprint today with my members i was doing my monthly live show with them last night which is always super super fun they always want to enable me to buy more lounge fly even though i don't need it but mm, there's a Woody the Pooh one that's so cute that's really cheap on Macari that I'm really tempted to get and they were like do it but they also influenced me to do reading sprints with them tonight so I was chatting about doing this vlog today and they were like you should do reading sprints and then like five of them were like yes 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 and I'm like okay fine we'll do reading sprints tonight so I am gonna do some reading sprints with them at like eight tonight after my sister goes back to work she's sleeping today be up and then she'll go back to work uh tonight so I have a lot of time to myself but I am gonna be reading some I do want to read up here but Lily's downstairs Darcy already went to my sister's bed they love sleeping with her during the day even when I'm home and I'm like what am I chop liver like I'm here and they want to go cuddle with her but Darcy is with her Lily was hanging out with me so I'm gonna go downstairs and read some with Lily if she ends up leaving me I'll come up here and read I feel like if I sit up I won't fall asleep as much I, I just like end up like lounging back in <laughs> the couch and wanting to fall asleep so I just checked my email during lunch and that's really all I wanted to do and I'm gonna go back into reading hopefully I finish this and can move on because I'm just over this book now I'm so sad. I definitely jinxed myself this morning saying we're off to a fantastic start, already finishing a five-star read, because now I'm just like, this is not fun. But it's okay. I'll finish it, and we can move on to better things. We're back in my room. It's been like not even 10 minutes since I talked to you. We got to a part where something came out about him to the media that he had only told her, and then he calls her, and he's like, I knew I could never trust you. F you. I hate you. And then hung up on her and blocked her. Obviously, she's not the one who did it. I hate, hate, let's like, when I'm like breathing hard because I just ran up the stairs to talk to you. I was reading, I settled down for like five minutes and then had to come up and talk to you because, oh my god, I'm so mad. I hate that trope in books where it's like, they confide in them, they finally trust them, and then something happens and they immediately jump to conclusions, claim they're the ones who betrayed them, don't let them get a word in, storm off, and never want to talk to them again. Hmm. I hate that in books and that just happened and it's only 60 percent in i'm like what are we gonna spend the rest of the book doing he already left what are we gonna spend the rest of the book doing this is so annoying like one of my pet peeves is them jumping to conclusions and saying i knew i could never trust you and like closing themselves off to everybody again so i just love reading this book everybody i have finished two things since i've last spoken to you lily was so cute on the couch and i was just like literally laying on top of her and i didn't want to move so i finished my devney perry and then read the entirety of my best friend's sister so i have some stuff to update you on hopefully my sister is getting up soon so it's 3 30 now i'm gonna wake her up in like 15 minutes so this should be the last update upstairs for a little bit because i'll be going downstairs and i probably will sew around like 5 30 when my sister starts getting ready for work and because she's gonna go back to work tonight but i ended up finishing the devney perry and i texted tori because we're doing the read along together and i was just like oh i'm like not liking this book and i'm really annoyed she has not started yet but at 60 percent, we had that like breakup we get a little bit of a time jump and she starts dating someone else and he comes back so i really enjoyed that and then we finally had some drama happen like a kidnapping kind of situation happening and so 
I ended up like flying through the rest of that book. I really enjoyed it, but the first 60% was so agonizing and so hard to get through. So I'm giving it three and a half stars. I don't know yet if I want to give it three or four on Goodreads. But three and a half, I feel like a comfortable rating. It's definitely my least favorite in the series, but I really liked it when he came back and she was dating someone else. And I don't feel like he groveled, but he had to like be patient and work for it. And I know the person that she was dating gets their own book and I don't know if it's the next book or not. I'm really intrigued. And I know the next book is a different character's book. I don't want to spoil who this character is because we didn't even know that they would come into the picture until this book. So lots of drama too, because she ended up dating her sister's boyfriend and that was super dramatic. I do feel like I didn't fully grasp why she was so in love with him. I didn't really believe it because we didn't really see them interact a lot and they had already broken up by the time the book happened. So I would have liked a little bit more background on that and less just like them sitting around talking the entire time. But like I said, the last 40%, I flew through that. I finished it so much faster than I was reading the first half and I really enjoyed it. So three and a half stars. Devney Perry did not fully fail me on this book, but it's definitely my least favorite in the series. But I have high hopes for the next one because we're going to figure out a lot of secrets and I feel like we're going to get a lot more action in that one because this character that it's going to follow someone pinned stealing drugs on them from the rival MC. So I feel like we're gonna get a lot more dramatics than that with the MC. This one felt very, very, very light MC, like the least MC motorcycle club romance out of all of them so far. So that's why I really didn't love it. But I went straight into my best friend's sister and it was a steamy good time. In the beginning I was a little worried because the writing was a little awkward. I don't know if this was QB's first book. I think it was, but the writing was a little clunky. The dialogue read a little awkward, but once you got into it, like she writes a steamy fun time and I really loved it. And I just really love their dynamic together. Like she was 22, he's 28. She moved to the city and their best friend's like, look after my sister. And they really hadn't talked for like six months. And then she ran into a situation where she like needed to get home. So she called him and then they started like spending more time together. And then she asks for him to uh, give her lessons in seduction because she likes a guy in her her law class because she's in law school and she doesn't want to like be very like naive and like not know what she's doing so she asks her brother's best friend for some lessons in seduction and it goes from there and then he starts getting really protective possessive over her and I really liked it and then of course you have the blow up with like the best friend finding out which like happens in every single brother's best friend romance so I really really enjoyed it I'm giving it four stars the writing could have been a little better I feel like it got better by the end like for some reason the guy always had to like add her name to the end and I was like do people really say each other's names this much in a conversation not really so four stars though and lots and lots of steam which QB Tyler is known for in her books I had so much fun reading this one I'm happy that I did and it wasn't really like taboo the only taboo nature was the fact that she had grown up with him like he was there when she was born but he's only six years older and they're both in their 20s so it really didn't feel taboo like her other ones do like her other ones is like stepbrother uh guardian stepfather She's got, I'm looking at my QB books right over here. So she's got a lot of very taboo ones. This wasn't as taboo. It was just forbidden because it is her brother's best friend, but really enjoyed it. So I did take a little bit of a break to post to TikTok and to Instagram. And then I was like scrolling a little bit on TikTok, but I made myself stop because I don't need to waste time on TikTok. I will waste hours on TikTok. I need to get a lot better at that, especially with school starting soon. I start, I go back next Monday. This is my last week of summer, though I do have a work day on Monday. So I only have four official like weekdays of summer left. Um, and so I need to make sure I'm not like wasting a lot of time on TikTok, just like mindlessly scrolling which I don't want to do. So I did not let myself stay on TikTok for too long, but I think I'm going to read what Hassan wants next. I want to read my two short ones back to back. This one's like 170 pages. Yep. And I have no idea what it's about. Like the back literally just says what Hassan wants is her body. What Hassan wants need is her mind. What Hassan has is a problem. And that's all it says. So I just know that Daniel Allen either writes books I absolutely am obsessed with or books that I give like three stars. So I'm a little nervous going into this one, but I have high hopes because the books I love just like knock it out of the park for me and I love them so so much so I hope I love this one it's really short too and so I'm gonna read this I'll probably finish it by I mean I have two hours until I want to start sewing so I can read about 100 pages an hour but that's only if I'm like really really into it if I'm not super into it it takes me a little bit longer so I think like QB Tyler took me like an hour and 15 minutes to read and that was 105 pages so we'll see how long this takes me it does have like a lot of margins if you can see but I'm very excited to read this and then my sister will wake up. I don't think she wants to watch anything. I think she'll be okay with just me reading. I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner though. We got Panda Express last night, so we're not eating out tonight. We're definitely gonna make something. She has a couple home chef meals, so we might make one of those. I'm not sure yet, but 
Lily's been hanging out with me all day, which makes me very happy. I love Miss Lily. Um, she did not go and sit with my sister like my just like Darcy did but I did have a cookie as well because my sister made cookies yesterday very very delicious lots of chocolate chips in that I'm sure last time I ate a cookie on camera I had a chocolate all over my face in my next clip so I don't think I have chocolate on my face now but yeah mm, that's all I have I am excited for my reading sprints tonight I had that all set up and then yeah that's it so I will I feel like that wasn't a lot to update you guys on um, I'm gonna go and read my book before my sister breaks. Oh, I did want to show you. Look, look how gorgeous. My friend, stop focusing on my face. My friend Brittany from Brit's Books sent me like the most amazing package ever. And this, this bookmark was in that package and it's for the mummy. It is gorgeous and I'm gonna use it to read today because I am obsessed. I mean, granted, I'm probably gonna finish this all in a sitting, maybe a little less in a sitting, but it's so pretty. I have to ask her where she got it because it is the best thing ever. She also got me a mummy pin, which I knew she had an extra one of and was gonna send me, and a mummy t-shirt and a Jonas Brothers t-shirt. Like, she went all out for me. I can show you the t-shirts real quick. I'm not sure if she's watching, but if she is, Brittany, I love you. She gave me a love bug shirt, and it says, over the edge, breathless, speechless, here. And this is amazing. I was gonna wear this tomorrow and make a little photo shoot with some of the pink books I just got. I love that and then she got me this shirt which we both are obsessed with the mummy so this one says i'd rather be watching the 1999 cinematic masterpiece the mummy starring brendan Fraser and rachel wise i think that's how you say her name yeah hot topic also launched a mummy collection of shirts and sweatshirts and i'm very tempted but i really need to draw i really want to buy this winnie the pooh lounge my backpack and i keep on almost submitting an offer on mercari and then i stop because i'm like i don't need to because i want to take some trips later and flights are like 300 dollars right now and i'm like do i want to buy a backpack or do i want to put that towards a flight or just do both i don't know okay i'm gonna go read and i will talk to you guys later everybody it is 6 30 i just spent about an hour sewing and i felt like reading it ain't me babe i wanted a dark romance i wanted mc romance i am not in the mood for like paranormal right now even though my audiobook's due in three days i'll just return it lily really wants to like me right now she's wide awake she's like let me give you all the kisses but it ain't me babe is so good i am <laughs> lily is about to fall off this couch i got two hours into it ain't me babe and it's so good the only scene i even remember was that he had met her when he was a child and he's been like obsessed with her ever since but like doesn't know who she is or where she's from so they met each other like on opposite sides of a fence and then now she escaped her cult but was like horribly horribly injured by a dog like one of their guard dogs and so she was like made it all the way to their compound and like passed out there and so they find her and he like immediately recognizes her and takes her to his room that like no one's allowed in it's so good so far i really love a cult romance where like one of them or both of them are trying to escape a cult my favorite if you guys have any other cult romance recommendations let me know becoming calder is one of my favorites by me sheridan that has to do with the cult and i know goodbye paradise by serena bowen does but i need more cult romances so give me a rex if you have them i did get about 70 pages into what Hassan wants and it's so good so far so Hassan and Tatiana meet at a bar he's supposed to meet a friend but his friends sit him up and so they meet they immediately have like insane chemistry and actually end up hooking up a little bit and then he realizes his best friend wants Tatiana 
So we get a little bit of angst there, even though they like both really like each other. And she's like, uh, I don't care if he wants me, he's my friend. And so she's getting a little bit annoyed with Hassan because he wants to be like loyal to his friend. But she's like, I get to choose who I'm with, not you both. And it's so good so far. Like their chemistry was off the charts in the beginning and it still is. And he's trying to like date people, but he's still hung up on Tatiana and he really wants her. And she's a chef which I love and she's training at a really, really famous restaurant and it's really good so far. I have like 100 pages left and I'm loving it. So I wanna read a lot of this and then I'll do my sprints at eight and start the next Stephanie Perry book. So I've been reading so many good things today. It ain't me, babe, I'm like obsessed with and I wanted to keep on listening, but I wanna read my physical copy of books too. I can listen to me, babe, more tomorrow. So I'm probably done with that for today, but I read this and then start Garnet Falls. Garnet Flats. I keep on calling it Garnet Falls. I'll start Garnet Flats when I'm done with this and catch up with you guys probably right before my sprints. Hello everybody, it is a little after, oh it's 9.50, I thought it was 9.30. Um, I finished What Hassan Wants, I finished this like at 7.55 right before my live show and it was really really good. I had a lot of fun with it, I do think I wanted a little bit more like angst to the plot but it was a shorter book so I'm giving it four and a half stars. Danielle Allen writes such good spice and this one was so good. You can always feel the chemistry between the characters and they really get to know each other as people. I just love her writing so much like I talked to her in the interview I had with her about how she's very character focused and really loves her characters to have conversations and really delve into their personalities and I totally got that even from like the first meeting you could tell they had insane chemistry but they still really liked each other's people and there's still drama though with his best friend wanting her even though he wants her which I feel like is kind of similar to Truth or Dare where it was her best friend wanted the guy for her sister so they had to kind of like sneak around this was so good so good i am so excited that i really enjoyed this one i had so much fun reading it definitely something you could read in one sitting and i'm glad i bought a copy i will link down below where you can find this on her website because it's only available on her website you can't get it on amazon but i'm so happy i read this it was so good very good time reading this that's all i can say but i started this on my reading sprints with my members it's gonna be a five star read i am obsessed Foster is a in an MMA fighter and he and Talia Talia oh her name is Tiana I think I was calling her Tatiana it's Tiana but here it's Talia and Foster and they were together in college and like madly in love and right when Talia was supposed to go to Seattle for medical school he decided to tell her he didn't love her anymore he's marrying her best friend and literally married her best friend and now seven years later He's divorced the best friend, but still talks to her every day and is trying to win Talia back. Excuse me? And so she is livid with him because he broke her heart. Her dad is angry because her dad knows all about it because he was the one who helped her move and when Foster broke up with her. And the dad comes and I was all like, you don't touch my daughter. And I love that so much. I feel like we don't see supportive parents enough in romances because I love my parents and I love seeing that. Also love that Talia's a twin. I'm a twin too, so I love seeing that sister bond. They're best friends and I love that. I'm excited for Lila to have a story. It's either Lila or Layla. I don't remember names, but she just confronted him and he's like all sweaty and hot after working out in boxing because he was angry working off his aggression. Now she's like confronting him and she's like, I'm supposed to be mad at you. You can't be mad at me. Oh my God. It's so good. So much tension between them. I am dying. So even though it's 9.50, I'm going to stay up until at least 10.30 reading before I even say goodbye. Because normally by now I'd be like, okay, bye, I'm leaving for this vlog. But no, I'm going to read some more and we're going to chat a little more when I've read more. So I'll be back. But it's so good. I love that angst so much. And I'm like, why did he marry her best friend? Like, was it insurance reasons? Something. Some reason why they had to get married. But then he broke her heart. Hopefully he grovels a lot. I'm obsessed. This isn't gonna be my last update for the day, but 
giant bomb just dropped I'm freaking out and I'm obsessed like I don't even want to stop reading but I know I have to because I need to go wash my face brush my teeth and get into bed but this might be my favorite of the series so far oh my gosh the angst like you guys know me I love drama I love angst this has so much of it it's a second chance romance and it's so good Ugh, I know Lily they're tired my puppies are tired do we see them do we see them oh my god though i am obsessed and i'm annoyed i didn't start this sooner so i could gush about the entire thing to you guys because it is absolutely amazing but i'm gonna end the vlog here because i need to go to bed <laughs> but i don't want to i could literally probably stay up until midnight and finish this if i really wanted to but i'm not going to because i need sleep but i'm running to walmart tomorrow to look at their school supplies because it's tax-free weekend and i want to go before everybody else is awake and i had to pick up my groceries from 10 to 11 so i have plans for the morning and i gotta run and walk my dogs so no staying up late for me but we'll see how late i stay up oh my god it's so good like another secret they were talking and then there's another secret and it's just like what's gonna happen i know they end up together foster still has secrets but you guys i'm obsessed read the series now if you haven't it's so good and i just love this feeling of being obsessed with a book oh my gosh like i literally don't want to stop reading it so good which is like the opposite of how i felt for stone princesses of annoyed i was like i want to stop reading this so badly and i didn't i ended up enjoying it though but this vlog i feel like was a good success i've read so many books today and i have a lot of five stars I have a couple five stars, a couple four stars, and a three and a half stars, so not too bad. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these at some point, or what other kinds of vlogs you'd want me to see. I'd love to hear. I'm going to go read some more and gush about that book. But that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.